Welcome back to my channel for a short Hasselblad episode. And in this episode, everything will be about the new Hasselblad XCD 28P lens, which Hasselblad brought to market. In my opinion, an ideal wide angle lens on the Hasselblad X2D, which I have here in my hands. And I've recently shot that lens on the X2D in New York City. Wanna share with you my sample images, my thoughts, and tell you everything you might wanna know about this new lens, which Hasselblad developed for the X-Series cameras. Let's kick off the video. Let's go right into the topic and let's start with design. So the build quality of this lens is beyond any doubt. A very smooth focus ring here. It has the metal lens hood, which we know from other XCD lenses, and uh, it's also fully weather sealed. Now, there is a design difference on this new XCD 28P lens compared to the other three lenses which Hasselblad brought to market when they launched the X2D. Because the manual focus ring here cannot be pushed up in order to show a depth of field scale. And that is something we find on the XCD 55V. It's also something we find on the XCD 38V here, where we can push up the focus ring and then get a depth of field scale. And the same push up mechanism for the focus ring to reveal a depth of field scale is also on the Hasselblad XCD 90V. But that lens, although I ordered it more than a year ago and paid for it already, still has not reached our studio here. I'm still waiting. Now, as we all know, and uh, if you are a Hasselblad fanboy, this will not be news to you. The way the shutter works in these X camera series is via leaf shutter in the lens. And the leaf shutter here in the XCD 28P is actually fantastic and offers exposure times from 68 minutes in combination with that camera to one over four thousandths of a second with full flash synchronization, which is, by the way, the big advantage besides avoidance of shakes and vibrations of a leaf shutter in a lens. And the autofocus is also supposed to be spot on. And when I was shooting this camera in New York City, I had no difficulties at all with autofocus. So let's switch this on. Let's see here how snappy the autofocus is. So let me focus, found focus, it's there. No matter where I go, it's pretty fast. And compared to former XCD lenses on, for instance, the X1D or the X1D Mark II, Clearly you see that there is face detection now on the Hasselblad X2D and these lenses are made, built, designed to cooperate with the X2D camera body. So that works quite well. And as I said, I had no difficulties when shooting this camera. When it comes to specifications of the lens, the first data point I wanna mention is the low weight because we have only 245 gram contributing to the weight of the camera body here. Then the filter thread, if you wanna use a neutral density filter, for instance, is 72 millimeter. The minimum distance from the object to the image plane is 0.22 meter and the maximum image scale is 1 over 6. So you can actually also use this camera, which is not unusual for 28 millimeter lenses for close up shots. And uh, then of course I want to mention what is the full frame equivalent focal length on that lens. And that works typically if we compare the 44 times 33 millimeter sensor here, which is built into the Hasselblad X2D with a full frame sensor with dimensions 36 times 24 millimeter, then we end up at a crop factor of 0.79. And if we apply that, we find actually also on the spec sheet from Hasselblad that the equivalent focal length for a full frame sensor, the field of view, that's what it is addressing here, is a 22 millimeter lens. So a true wide angle lens, which you can perfectly use for street photography in cities, but also for landscape and nature. The optical construction of the lens is actually remarkable. So we have nine elements in eight groups. We have two aspherical elements, which help you of course in the optical properties of the lens and one extra low dispersion element. So that is something which I also appreciate. And uh, we'll go into sample images now straight away because the sample images I was able to shot with the new Hasselblad X2D and the XCD 28P, they're really convincing and I hope you like them too. So let's go straight into it.
All right, I want to show a few more details in sample images to give you some impression how well this lens is rendering light when it falls through the lens onto the sensor of the X2D. And the first three frames here in that collection I actually took in Zurich because of course I wanted to test the lens a little bit before I take it with me for street photography in New York City. So let's have a look into that frame here and uh, you find here an incredible amount of detail if I crop in here by 100%. And that's of course due to the insanely high resolution of 100 megapixel of the Hasselblad X2D. But also of course attributes to the quality of the lens because if the lens is crap you can have the best sensor in the world. Nothing will impress you when you later look into the photo. So that looks quite nice. I like a lot what I see here. And now let's turn our attention to New York City images and also here I want to point out a few things. Next I want to show some reflections and what I love in New York City are these many glass office buildings and uh, of course if you point with your camera upwards you will get falling lines and uh, these images then look like this image here and uh, what I do typically in post is then I just take the center part of the image where I have enough space to the boundaries to correct for falling lines and then I of course also post process them. There is again an incredible amount of detail and the corrected image then looks like this and I think this is quite nice you see on the grid here coming from the natural structure of the building surface that there is a little bit of distortion but most of it I could correct in post and that's not so unusual for wide angle lenses. But I love these reflections in office buildings in New York City and if you correct for falling lines it actually looks very very nice. Here are a few more examples of that type. Look at that one. Again you see a little bit of distortion on the lines. Uh, I did not spend a lot of time correcting them and you can probably do better than this image but it looks nevertheless quite nice. Here another example where I corrected for falling lines and you see this is quite nice although at the bottom here based on not having enough space for the falling lines correction it's the transform tool in Lightroom I cut off a little bit of the street in the foreground. Here is another example of that and again I love these reflections. Shooting them with a camera just makes me very happy. Here a low light scene, ISO was climbing up to 1600 here, f8.0 was my aperture, 1 over 250 seconds and also in low light as we know it from the Hasselblad X2D cooperating very nicely with the new XCD 28P. We have plenty of detail here so you see this is at 305 Madison Avenue where this shot took place. Going into the next one, shooting into shopping windows is something I like so here is the fresh kitchen. And if I crop in by 100%, you see this is nicely rendered here, ISO 1600 again, f8.0. Here is another image with a lot of reflections and light in it, again ISO 1600, a little bit of noise but not overly much and uh, I think also here it's nice what you can achieve with that camera lens combo. Here is an astonishing image and uh, that one I wanted to show because I tested here handhold a two second exposure with the X2D and I already mentioned in various videos on my channel where I spoke about the Hasselblad X2D that in body image stabilization is really well done on the X2D and if you look at that image I really had no tripod it's a handhold shooting ISO 100 f8.0 if you look at that here this is crystal clear. It's very nicely rendered. All the details are there. It's absolutely fantastic what the in-body image stabilization of the X2D delivers here. I really like that image. Here's another image again with available light here. It's an 0.4 second exposure at f8.0 ISO 100. Again in-body image stabilization pays back here and I like this image a lot. Down here you see St. Patrick Cathedral and the location where I took that shot is actually through the window of a hotel building and here you see an incredible amount of detail on the streets, cars lining up here, a little bit of motion blurriness but all in very nicely rendered. You see so many details in that image. I like a lot what this camera lens combo is delivering here. And then of course there is let's call it the classical application of that camera lens combo which is indeed street photography and I love when I'm in New York City. I'm there every month walking down the streets, checking my step counter on my Apple Watch capturing scenes about what's going on in that city and uh, seeing so many details and this nice and unique mixture of let's call it almost more beat old buildings and modern elements in a very modern city which kind of never sleeps and uh, walking down these streets is something that always makes me happy. I typically try to get a few thousand of steps on my Apple Watch. You see also here in the background nicely on that bus here starburst light effects which happens if you stop down that wide angle lens 
And uh, there are so many things going on in that city. For instance, here, it's trivial, of course, but it's a construction site. People are focused on getting things done. And by the way, again, on that women here on the boundary of the lens, you also see again a little bit of distortion in the representation, which is normal for extreme wide angle lenses. You see so many pups, details, things going on. You can read everything. You will remember the scene later on and street photography is just something I like. And in this case, again, by correction of the transform tool in Lightroom, I also wanted to have almost a close up shot of one of these famous New York traffic lights. So all in street photography clearly is the most common application people will do with that camera lens combo and that very lightweight Hasselblad XCD 28P. And sometimes here and there you find something you would not expect in New York City. And uh, here this is clearly not an image on the right hand side part of a trash bin which you can sell to clients. But I found it fascinating that there is indeed a little bug here which was just staring at me and uh, of course I took that shot. Last but not least I also love the bird perspective you get from the various rooftop bars in New York City. And uh, you're typically surrounded by skyscrapers, which is what New York City is all about. But also here, if you then look down to the street, so many details. You see how busy that city is. You see on other rooftop terraces here, all the details. And uh, I like this a lot. Of course, it cuts off some of the buildings, even at that wide angle focal length of 28 millimeter, which as I said before, if you calculate it back to a full frame sensor field of view is about 22 millimeter lens but you nevertheless get a lot of things represented here in the scene. And uh, the sharpness, the level of detail, everything you can later discover when you post-process these images is just something I like a lot. Here again, a nice bird perspective. If you look at that building opposite side, you can even look through the windows. You see things going on. You see here, for instance, images on the wall. You also get a lot of busyness on the streets down here. Another construction site on the left-hand side people walking, cars driving, a lot of detail. And clearly with 100 megapixel like you have it in the X2D, you have so much potential later to crop into a particular aspect of your scene in the way you want to present it. All right, that's it. That's all I wanted to say about that lens. And uh, of course, given the compact dimensions of the camera body in combination with that new XCD 28P lens, this is an ideal setup for travel, for street photography, and for reportage photography, of course. And if you liked that video, don't forget to drop me a thumbs up. Stay tuned on my channel, there's always more to come. Thanks for watching, stay safe and healthy, and of course, peace out.